Hi everyone, my name is Renee and I am a park ranger here at Zion National Park. And today we're gonna to be talking a little bit more about the role art has here in the park. As Ranger Grace discussed, art has a long history here at Zion. Our early tourism and recognition is partly due to artists who are able to capture the spirit and beauty of Zion in their oil paintings. And those works were a way for people to see and appreciate Zion's unique landscapes, which they had never seen anything like before. And while we value that history, we also like to embrace our current artistic chapter, which is mainly through our artists in residence program here at the park. Like many other national parks, Zion hosts different artists that come to the park and they spend one month here living and working here. And they actually live right here in the Grotto House, which was built in 1914 as the park's original visitor center. How it works is the artists will apply and once they are accepted, they get to spend that one month here creating art. And they're not just creating art, they're also interacting with our visitors. And they do that by holding open studio hours to sort of explain what they're doing and how their art is working. And it's a great way for visitors to sort of learn different artistic techniques, find out more about the creative process, and maybe even discover a different way to connect with their public lands. Since 2010, Zion has hosted over 40 different artists that come here to the park. And what I really appreciate about our program here is that there's just so many different styles and mediums in which Zion is depicted. No longer is Zion only shown as traditional oil painting landscapes, but rather in a much more variety um, that we have now. And so just for example, some of our more or less traditional um, options have been dance, literature, music, and typewriter art even. So for example, our artists in residence last year, Margaret Dilloway, she was an author, and she wrote a short children's story about aliens who were here in Zion. And the year before, the park hosted its first ever dancer in residence, Sarah Longoria, who choreographed an original piece, Daughters of Zion. And so all of these artists come here to the show that there is not just one way to appreciate and value our park here. All right, and so at the end of their time here, the artists will then hold a public presentation to showcase all of their work, and they end up donating one of their pieces to stay here at the park, which means that Zion has a really great collection of paintings, sculptures, videos, music compositions, which are all available on our website. So I strongly encourage you all to check those out, to watch, to listen, to just sort of see all these different ways that you can see our park here. And it's just, it's a great reminder to know that even though some things have changed here at Zion, our current artists and residents, just like those early painters, are continue to be inspired by the park. Thanks.